Okay, so I had mentioned that not every region is simply going to be defined as the region uh, between a positive curve and the x-axis, so let's uh, just take a small step and uh, see how to do this when the region is actually defined as a, as, a, as a region between curves. So what we want to do is find the volume of the solid obtained by revolving the region between y equals x squared and y equals negative x on the interval 0, 1 about the y-axis. So once again, we're going to revolve around that axis, I'll just put in the x and the y. And the difference here is simply that the, the height function for the cylinder is going to be different. So recognize that what we're doing is we're revolving shells that are going to look like this. I'm going to keep drawing in these, like, these half shells like this. So what you can see is that the height of the shell is now going to be that. It's going to be the, the the vertical distance between two curves, nothing is really different about the, about the circumference. The other parts of the geometry are the same. So the main issue here is that this height of the shell, which is also this height, is equal to the vertical distance between the two curves. So x squared minus negative x, just top minus bottom, and that equals x squared plus x. Otherwise the geometry here is really going to be the same. So we have a point x along the x-axis, its distance from the axis of revolution is simply x. And we give the shell a little bit of thickness like this. And it's the same name for that thickness is dx. So what we can see is that the circumference of the shell is going to be 2 pi x. Its height is now x squared plus x. And the only thing that's different here is that the lowest possible x value for the pink region is x equals 0 because we're right on the on the y-axis, and the highest possible value, x value, that occurs in the pink region is x equals 1. So we integrate, we find the volume of the solid by integrating the by integrating the expression for the for the volume of each cylinder. So that's going to be its circumference, 2 pi x, it's right here, 2 pi, oops. Just write that on a little neater, 2 pi x, times the height of the shell, which is now x squared plus x, and the thickness, dx. And we do that from the lowest x value up to the highest x value. We normally are going to write this as 2 pi integral from 0 to 1 of 2 pi, sorry, not 2 pi, of x, x squared plus x, dx. So what we have here is we have the expression for the radius, the expression for the height of a shell, and the expression for the thickness of the shell. So here we go. So that's the answer to find the volume, except of course I'm not really finding the volume. We're going to say set up an integral for the volume. Isn't that great? You don't like the problem, you can just cross out the question and change it to a different question. You can do that if you're the professor. So this is, uh, th this is the answer to the, two, the, the uh, slightly modified question.